Here's a couple of homework questions from 2.9. Um, so for the first one, you would want to simplify on each side. So on the right hand side, this one will simplify, distribute your 2, and this will give us 10 minus 2x, and take the parentheses off. We can bring down the rest, keeping your symbol, right? Uh, now everything simplified, we have x on both sides. So we want to get rid of one of those. With inequalities, it's best to keep the x on the left. So we will get rid of the minus 2x. To make it cancel, I need to add 2x to both sides. So I'm going to bring down what I have, and I'm going to add 2x to get rid of that one. bringing just what I have, and now I'm adding 2x. So my new step on each side was add the 2x. Right? Clean up on the left-hand side. You have like terms, different signs, subtract, sign of the larger. And now it's a standard two-step inequality. Work on the side with your variable and take off your 6. It's added. So we're going to take it away. We'll take it away from both sides. Clean up. On the left, we have negative 2x greater than or equal to 4. Next is your divide step. This is the step where you have to watch whether your inequality symbol is going to flip. If you divide by a negative, it will flip. This one is going to require you to divide by a negative, so I'll take an extra line to show that. So my order is going to change and my inequality symbol will flip. Clean up. You have x is less than or equal to a negative 2. So it's solved. Your graph is just a little number line graph. Show your negative 2. Shade the side that makes it true. X is less than, so it's over to the left. Could be equal to, will be a bracket in the direction of the shading. And now your interval notation. So it's coming from negative infinity and it's going to stop at negative 2, which will get a bracket just like your number line. Here's another inequality. You would first check for simplifying. So on the left, there's nothing you can do. On the right, you will distribute your 6. So left is going to stay the same. So we'll get 6x on the right plus 18. Parentheses comes off. Now we're going to solve. We do have a variable on both sides. Since it's an inequality, let's keep the variable on the left. So we're going to get rid of the 6x. Positive 6x, so we need to take it away from both sides. Then we'll clean up. On the left hand side, the like terms go together. Different signs subtract. Sign of the larger. And now you have a two step inequality. So work on the side with the x, and you'll take off the 2. It's subtracted, so we're going to add 2 to both sides. Clean up. And now we'll go back on this side with the variable. We're ready to divide. We do have to divide by the sign of the coefficient. So we have to divide by a negative. Our inequality symbol is going to change directions. It's going to flip over.
So x is greater than a negative 5. So it's solved. We'll do just a little number line graph. Show our endpoint negative 5. x is greater than the negative 5, so we'll shade over here. Uh, for the endpoint, there is no equals, so it will be a parenthesis in the direction of the shading. And then interval notation. It starts at negative 5 and goes forever to the right. I did use parentheses to match the graph, and both were because there were no equals underneath on the inequality symbol.